Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday morning on the Rancho, and there is definitely a chill in the air today. Fall is almost here. There's the uh, Gorgi. What are you doing, huh? Just eating random bits of food on the uh, deck and everything. Might have a little touch of uh, sprinkle today. I'm not sure. You know, guys, it's time to keep working on the uh, systems on the uh, rig now. All right, guys, the system I want to work on today is the uh, we got two systems here that are not functioning properly. We've got the uh, CB radio, which I would love to get working again. And we also have the AM, FM and tape player up there. Uh, that's not working. So my goal today is to try to get these two uh, these two items working as well as possible. And it's going to be challenging because it's very difficult access behind the uh, behind the dashboard there. A lot of stuff is probably going to have to be taken off. And while it's off, it'll give me a chance to lubricate some of the uh, control mechanisms, particularly on the uh, heater, AC, and vent, and uh, fan mechanisms. So uh, the CB radio, I don't know. I'm going to check for power. But there's a certain uh, there's a certain protocol you go through in uh, checking electronic equipment. Uh, we'll have to also check out the uh, speakers up here to see if they're working. And that's a big if if we're able to able to even get any sound system gone today, either the uh, CB radio or the uh, AM FM. So I went ahead and uh, just plugged in the microphone, turned on the uh, both of them, the AM FM. Uh, had the uh, accessory turned on the uh, keys in and turned to accessory. I got no power on either one of them. So let's talk about some of the uh, protocol for testing uh, electronic uh, electronic equipment. Easiest way to uh, test everything is just get the uh, get the device that you're trying to get checked out set up to an absolutely known good power sources I have here with the uh, with the battery the 12 volt battery and if you can see here it's you can see that the uh, digital display is lit up it's a little a little difficult to see but you can see maybe that the uh, channels are changing there so we're definitely getting power to the uh, to the unit here so that's a good thing so next thing is to go inside obviously we have some type of power feed issue to that area so we're gonna I'm gonna see if I can dig out some fusing next this is the kind of stuff that uh, friggin drives me nuts in here I mean left is freaking reading glasses in here and everything else uh, but the one thing he did was a good thing was he never threw anything away when it didn't uh, work so he actually left a shroud for the uh, radio there I guess it didn't retrofit up right or something like that it looked like a kind of half-assed job putting that uh, putting that thing in so I don't know but the other thing you can notice right here is uh, there's a damn light bulb laying across the fuse panel so God knows what kind of damage that's done so I got to tear into that now to check that out this, uh, you know that evidently that fuse cover this thing wasn't put on real tight in there so uh, yeah I'm gonna probably just remove this whole thing I got all the screws and everything I'm trying to get all the crap out of here I've got 6,000 fuses this thing just blew fuses like don't fix the problem right just keep, uh, just keep popping fuses in all day long I mean, he's got, I mean, he's got boxes and boxes and boxes of fuses. Nice things that you can use when you're uh, testing on fuse blocks and things like that. You buy these little jumpers that you can hook on and sort of bypass the, uh, bypass the fuses. You can just hook these uh, right on the block and clip them on and make sure you're getting good power over to the uh, unit. So I, uh, I hardwired temporarily with the jumpers into there to turn them determine I'm getting power and then I figured out what's going on is I'm not getting a good ground over here over on this side so I'm going ahead and found a good ground here now you can hear that the uh, radio is working I'm not, I'm not picking much in the way of uh, signals but uh, it could have something to do with the antenna or something like that but getting power there anyway so Right now, we're going to see if we can get it mounted and find a better ground. Just to 
testing out my uh, Cobra on here. And it's a little bit of a bigger rig. This actually might be a more advanced unit here. Might be a fun base unit to have here. But definitely picking up. So I'm going to try regrounding the original unit here. And see what we get. Alright guys, yeah, I got the whole dashboard, I got the whole damn front apart. What do you think about that, huh? <laughs> That's what you got to do when you get down to your work. It's still really uh, virtually impossible to get up to this uh, radio. I'm going to have to probably save that for uh, another day. But I've established a real good ground on the back. Let me get the flashlight uh, here. I don't know where in the heck that went. See, I got a really good uh, ground up there now that I've established and should have no more issues here with power. So that'll be good. So we can uh, remount that and uh, call that a done project. I'm still going to take a little more time to uh, look at the uh, radio. It's getting a little uh, later in the day. The weather's getting kind of funky. A couple spits of uh, drizzle here. So... I don't know how much more I'll stay at this. Luckily, this thing is very easy. Everything is all hinged and comes apart real, real easy. The dash um, panel, it's only about uh, four screws holds that in. So everything is pretty good. It'll give me a chance to clean up some of the goo and some of the other stuff on these uh, these lights. These, uh, you can see how kind of dirty they are in there. So I'm going to take some time and clean that up too decided as long as I had the uh, dashboard out I would take the uh, heater control element and uh, do a little lubricating here behind on uh, some of the uh, switch mechanisms and of course on this I'm uh, using the uh, deoxid I wouldn't recommend on electrical contacts spraying uh, anything except the deoxid because you might degrade where the uh, where the plastic goes and everything so I'm giving every all the uh, all the controls a good shot in there to help them uh, work a little freer that mechanism to make uh, good contact and I'll put it in a high position and uh, get it in there Get it inside that switch real good. Let that work in real good. And then they have these other things should be able to uh, work in. And I'll be able to get this other one from the uh, bottom. Hell no, guys. Never give up. Never throw in the towel. Okay. <laughs> And if that doesn't get you kind of happy, well, we got one uh, one speaker there. I got no idea what's going on. We'll have to check out that side another day. But uh, we got radio. a decent way to uh, retrofit that so I'm gonna check into that next uh, Roger that you're fairly close to me yeah I understand I'm not getting out probably got a pretty weak signal need to tune the antenna over how, how do I sound over there with this radio booming in over huh? you're booming in over 
Sounds super, over. Roger that. What's your handle? Rolling Rancho, over. It has a couple. Uh, it has a couple switches I haven't uh, fooled with yet. Over. Roger that. Okay, thank you. Over. <laughs> like I know what the hell I'm doing. It was probably 1977 was the last time I was on a CB radio. So uh, obviously this uh, this baby ain't getting out real good. But uh, that's cool. I don't know what's going on. I'm kind of near some power lines here. So, yeah, guys, how's the radio sounding? I got the other speaker set up. I had to be very careful because the uh, plastic's very brittle here. But she's sounding pretty good. It's time to button her up and call her a day. Doesn't look bad, huh? I tell you, the beautiful thing about uh, Jerry Garcia is he never threw anything, uh, ever threw anything away. So whenever I wanted to uh, get something functioning properly, all I had to do was just look around the coach and find it. Because he's the kind of guy that would do an install job and just do it halfway and uh, just let it go. You know, that's not, it's not, uh, that's not acceptable, guys, for me. So. We got nice stereo music going now. And all I have to do is I got a lot of cleanup. I got real frustrated and emptied out all the screws and bolt nuts and stuff to uh, to find what I needed. So hey, there's something rare you don't see too often. Rain in California, huh? So okay. Well, it's been a very productive day. I'm gonna get cleaned up here, and then we'll uh, do one wrap up. All right, guys. Time to uh, time to wrap it up. I call too many times. Oh, there we go, guys. Not our uh, not our most glamorous day ever, but certainly a very uh, very productive one. Managed to get the uh, everything lubricated behind the. Uh, heater, air conditioning, and uh, vent and fan control. Got some new screws in for the dashboard uh, mounting. Confirmed that the uh, wipers working pretty good on there. Uh, what else we do? We've got the, uh, of course we got the radio working. Also kind of cool, you guys heard me on the uh, CB radio earlier. Talking to a guy uh, probably about uh, three miles away, big deal, right? But it's exciting to have everything uh, once again. The goal is to have everything working uh, perfectly, and uh, you can see the uh, radio unit with the shroud on it. It, it. it actually looks handsome now, mounted instead of uh, really ugly as uh, before. So took a little bit of work. Uh, some of the uh, some of the controls were very gummed up. Had to put some uh, deoxid in there to work them free, so that the power, the power would work and it would be, uh, it would be dependable. Also went ahead and uh, mounted a uh, new speaker over there, being very careful with that unit. So we have, uh, we got very good stereo in here. Now. That is a really good thing. Anyway, guys, another productive day. Thanks so much for being along. Uh, and thank you, Jerry Garcia, for not throwing anything away. <laughs> Something went bad, he just let it go. You know, thank God. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Thumbs up, we're always welcome. <laughs>